8 Simple Tips to Effectively Manage High Blood Pressure High blood pressure is a common health condition that affects many people worldwide. It is a serious medical condition that can lead to heart attack, stroke, and other health problems if left untreated. Fortunately, there are many things you can do to manage high blood pressure and keep it under control. In this video we will share 8 simple tips to help you effectively manage high blood pressure. From making lifestyle changes, such as healthy eating and regular exercise, to taking medication as prescribed by your doctor, we will cover everything you need to know to keep your blood pressure under control. So, whether you are newly diagnosed with high blood pressure or have been living with it for years, this video is for you. 1. What is high blood pressure? High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a common medical condition characterized by the increased pressure exerted by the blood against the walls of the arteries. This pressure can be damaging to the arteries and other organs, such as the heart and kidneys, and can lead to serious health problems if left untreated. Blood pressure is measured using two numbers, systolic pressure, the top number, and diastolic pressure, the bottom number. A normal blood pressure reading is usually around 120/80ths of a millimeter of mercury. However, if your blood pressure consistently measures 130/80ths of a millimeter of mercury or higher, this is considered high blood pressure. High blood pressure is often referred to as the silent killer because it usually has no noticeable symptoms until it reaches a dangerous level. This is why it is important to regularly monitor your blood pressure, especially if you have risk factors such as obesity, a sedentary lifestyle, a family history of hypertension, or other health conditions such as diabetes or kidney disease. Fortunately, high blood pressure can be managed and even prevented with lifestyle changes and medications. It's important to work with your healthcare provider to develop a personalized plan for managing your blood pressure to lower your risk of complications and improve your overall health. 2. Why it's important to manage high blood pressure. Managing high blood pressure is extremely important for your overall health and well-being. If left uncontrolled, high blood pressure can lead to serious health problems such as heart attacks, strokes, and kidney disease. It can also cause damage to your arteries, which can increase the risk of developing other health conditions like diabetes. High blood pressure is often referred to as the silent killer, because it usually has no symptoms until it becomes severe. Therefore, it's crucial to have your blood pressure checked regularly and to work with your doctor to manage it effectively. By managing your blood pressure, you can reduce your risk of developing serious health conditions and improve your quality of life. This can be achieved through lifestyle changes such as eating a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, and reducing stress. Your doctor may also prescribe medication to help manage your blood pressure. Remember, managing your blood pressure is an ongoing process and requires a commitment to making positive changes in your lifestyle. But by doing so, you can enjoy a healthier and happier life. 3. How to monitor your blood pressure at home. Monitoring your blood pressure at home is essential to understand how your body responds to different situations and external factors. By doing so, you can also detect any fluctuations in your blood pressure that may require medical attention. To monitor your blood pressure at home, you will need to purchase a reliable blood pressure monitor. These are readily available at most pharmacies or online. It's important to choose a monitor that is easy to use, has a clear display, and provides accurate readings. When monitoring your blood pressure, it's important to follow the instructions carefully, as incorrect use can produce inaccurate readings. For example, you should avoid smoking or drinking caffeine for at least 30 minutes before taking your blood pressure as these can cause temporary spikes. It's important to monitor your blood pressure at the same time each day to ensure consistency in your readings. Keep a record of your readings and share them with your doctor to help them make informed decisions about your treatment plan. Remember, monitoring your blood pressure at home is not a substitute for regular checkups with your doctor. It's important to continue to attend appointments to ensure your blood pressure is well managed and to discuss any concerns you may have. Please like the video and subscribe the channel. 4. The importance of a healthy diet. Maintaining a healthy diet is essential when managing high blood pressure. A diet that is low in sodium and high in potassium, calcium, and magnesium can help control blood pressure. Some foods that are high in potassium include bananas, spinach, avocados, and sweet potatoes.
Calcium-rich foods include milk, cheese, and yogurt, while almonds, black beans, and dark chocolate are good sources of magnesium. It's important to avoid processed foods, which are typically high in sodium, and to limit alcohol and caffeine intake. In addition to the types of foods you eat, portion control is also important. Overeating can lead to weight gain, and being overweight is a risk factor for high blood pressure. Eating a balanced diet that is rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can help you maintain a healthy weight and reduce your risk of developing high blood pressure. Finally, it's important to remember that a healthy diet is part of an overall healthy lifestyle. Pairing a healthy diet with regular exercise, stress management, and getting enough sleep can help you manage your blood pressure and maintain good health. 5. Exercise and physical activity tips for managing high blood pressure. Exercise and physical activity are great tools for managing high blood pressure. It is important to note that you should always speak to your healthcare provider before starting any exercise routine. Once you have their approval, incorporating exercise into your daily routine can help lower your blood pressure and reduce your risk of heart disease. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. This can include activities such as brisk walking, cycling, swimming, or dancing. If you are short on time, you can break up your physical activity into shorter sessions throughout the day. Strength training can help lower your blood pressure as well. Incorporating exercises that target all major muscle groups at least two days a week can help lower your blood pressure and improve your overall health. In addition to structured exercise, finding ways to increase your physical activity throughout the day can also be helpful. This can include taking the stairs instead of the elevator, parking further away from your destination, or taking a walk during your lunch break. Remember, finding physical activities that you enjoy can help make exercise a more enjoyable part of your routine. Experiment with different activities until you find something that you look forward to doing. 6. Techniques for reducing stress and managing anxiety. Stress and anxiety can contribute to high blood pressure, so it's important to find ways to manage those feelings. One technique is to practice deep breathing exercises. Take a deep breath in through your nose, hold it for a few seconds, and then exhale slowly through your mouth. Repeat this exercise several times a day, especially when you feel stressed or anxious. Another technique is to practice relaxation exercises such as progressive muscle relaxation or yoga. These exercises can help you to release tension and calm your mind. It's also important to prioritize self-care in your daily routine. This includes getting enough sleep, eating a healthy diet, and exercising regularly. Even a short walk around the block can help to reduce stress and anxiety. In addition, try to identify the sources of your stress and anxiety and find ways to address them. This could mean delegating tasks at work or finding a new hobby to help you unwind. Finally, don't be afraid to seek help from a mental health professional. They can provide you with additional techniques and support to manage stress and anxiety, which can in turn help to lower your blood pressure. 7. The role of medications in high blood pressure management. When it comes to managing high blood pressure, medications play a crucial role. There are several different types of medications that your doctor may prescribe depending on your individual situation and health history. These medications work to lower your blood pressure by either relaxing your blood vessels or reducing the amount of fluid in your blood. Some of the most common medications used to manage high blood pressure include diuretics, ACE inhibitors, calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, and angiotensin receptor blockers. It's important to note that these medications may cause side effects, so it's important to discuss any concerns you may have with your doctor. It's also important to remember that medications are just one part of managing high blood pressure. Lifestyle changes such as maintaining a healthy diet, exercising regularly, quitting smoking, and reducing stress are also important components of managing high blood pressure. By working closely with your doctor and making these lifestyle changes, you can effectively manage your high blood pressure and reduce your risk of serious health complications. 8. How to track your progress and stay motivated. Once you've started implementing lifestyle changes and medical treatments to manage your high blood pressure, it's important to track your progress and stay motivated. There are several ways to do this, and finding what works best for you is key. One simple way to track your progress is by keeping a journal. 
You can record your blood pressure readings, medications, lifestyle changes, and any symptoms you may be experiencing. This can help you identify patterns and see how your efforts are paying off over time. Another way to track your progress is by using a blood pressure monitor at home. This can help you keep an eye on your blood pressure between doctor's visits and make adjustments as necessary. Staying motivated can be challenging, but setting goals and celebrating milestones can help. For example, you could set a goal to reduce your blood pressure by a certain amount within a set period of time, and then reward yourself when you achieve it. This could be something as simple as treating yourself to a movie or a nice dinner out. It's also important to have a support system in place. Whether it's family, friends, or a support group, having people who understand what you're going through can make all the difference. Finally, don't be too hard on yourself if you slip up. Lifestyle changes can be difficult, and setbacks are normal. The important thing is to keep moving forward and stay focused on your goals. With time and effort, you can successfully manage your high blood pressure and enjoy a healthier life. Sorry, there is no section heading provided. Please provide the section heading so I can assist you better. Alternative section. 5. Incorporate exercise into your routine. Regular exercise is one of the most effective ways to manage high blood pressure. According to the American Heart Association, exercising for at least 30 minutes a day, five times a week can help lower blood pressure by up to 5 minus 10 millimeters Hg. This is because exercise helps strengthen the heart and makes it more efficient at pumping blood, which reduces the pressure on your arteries. It's important to note that you don't have to hit the gym for intense workouts to reap the benefits of exercise. Simple activities like brisk walking, cycling, swimming, or even gardening can help get your heart rate up and lower your blood pressure. The key is to engage in physical activity regularly and make it a part of your routine. If you're just starting out, it's important to consult with your doctor before beginning any exercise program, especially if you have other health conditions or concerns. They can help you determine the best type and intensity of exercise for your individual needs and ensure that you're doing it safely. So, whether it's a morning walk, a lunchtime yoga class, or an evening swim, make sure to incorporate some form of physical activity into your daily routine to help manage your high blood pressure. Your heart and overall health will thank you for it. Sorry, there seems to be no section heading provided for this task. Can you please provide me with a section heading so I can assist you better? 1. What is high blood pressure? High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a chronic medical condition where the force of blood pushing against the walls of the arteries is consistently high. This condition can lead to serious health problems such as heart disease, stroke, and kidney failure if left untreated. Blood pressure is measured in two numbers, systolic and diastolic. Systolic pressure is the pressure when the heart pumps blood out, and diastolic pressure is the pressure when the heart is at rest between beats. A normal blood pressure reading is around 120/80ths of a millimeter of mercury. However, if the reading is consistently above 130/80ths of a millimeter of mercury, it is considered high blood pressure. There are two types of high blood pressure, primary and secondary. Primary hypertension is the most common type and develops over time with no identifiable cause. Secondary hypertension is caused by an underlying medical condition, such as kidney disease or sleep apnea. It is important to have your blood pressure checked regularly, especially if you have a family history of high blood pressure or have other risk factors such as smoking, being overweight, or living a sedentary lifestyle. With proper management and lifestyle changes, high blood pressure can be controlled and the risk of serious health problems can be reduced. 2. What causes high blood pressure? High blood pressure is a common medical condition that affects a large number of people worldwide. It is often referred to as the silent killer, because it can go unnoticed for years and can lead to serious health complications if left untreated. But what exactly causes high blood pressure? There are several factors that can contribute to the development of high blood pressure. One of the most common causes is genetics. If your parents or other close family members have high blood pressure, you may be at a higher risk of developing it yourself. Other factors that can contribute to high blood pressure include a poor diet, lack of physical activity, being overweight or obese, smoking, and stress. Another factor that can contribute to high blood pressure is age. 
As we get older, our blood vessels become less flexible, which can cause blood pressure to increase. Additionally, certain medical conditions such as diabetes, kidney disease, and sleep apnea can also contribute to the development of high blood pressure. It is important to note that in some cases, high blood pressure may not have an identifiable cause. This is known as essential hypertension and it accounts for the majority of cases of high blood pressure. Regardless of the cause, it is important to work with your healthcare provider to manage your blood pressure and reduce your risk of developing serious health complications. 3. How high blood pressure affects your body. High blood pressure HBP, is a common medical condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It is also known as hypertension and is characterized by an elevated blood pressure level, which occurs when the heart pumps blood through the arteries with excessive force. Over time, this can cause damage to your blood vessels, heart, and other organs, leading to serious health problems. The arteries in your body are designed to carry blood from your heart to other parts of your body. When your blood pressure is high, the force of the blood against the walls of your arteries is increased. This increased pressure can cause damage to your arteries, making them less flexible and more prone to blockages. This can lead to a number of complications, including heart attack, stroke, kidney disease, and vision loss. In addition to this, high blood pressure can also cause damage to your heart by making it work harder to pump blood throughout your body. This can cause your heart muscle to become thicker and less efficient, which can lead to heart failure over time. It's important to know that high blood pressure is a silent killer, meaning that it often has no symptoms until it reaches a critical level. Therefore, it's crucial to get your blood pressure checked regularly and make lifestyle changes to lower it if it's high. By doing so, you can avoid the serious health consequences associated with high blood pressure and live a healthy and fulfilling life. 4. Tips to reduce high blood pressure. High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a condition that affects millions of people worldwide. If left untreated, it can lead to serious health complications such as heart disease, stroke, and kidney failure. Luckily, there are many simple tips that can help reduce high blood pressure and lead to a healthier life. One effective way to reduce high blood pressure is to maintain a healthy weight. Obesity is a major risk factor for hypertension, so losing weight can have a significant impact on your blood pressure levels. Aim for a healthy body mass index BMI between 18.5 to 24.9, and make sure to exercise regularly. Another tip is to reduce your sodium intake. Sodium is a mineral that is found in salt and is known to raise blood pressure levels. Try to limit your sodium intake to less than 2,300 mg mg per day, or even less if you have high blood pressure. This can be achieved by reading food labels and choosing low sodium options. Increasing your potassium intake is also beneficial for reducing high blood pressure. Potassium is a mineral that helps balance the levels of sodium in your body, and can be found in foods such as bananas, avocados, and sweet potatoes. Aim for a daily intake of at least 2,000 mg of potassium. Other tips include reducing your alcohol intake, quitting smoking, managing stress levels, and getting enough sleep. By incorporating these simple lifestyle changes into your daily routine, you can effectively manage high blood pressure and improve your overall health. 5. Diet for high blood pressure. Diet plays a vital role in controlling high blood pressure. It is important to consume foods that are low in saturated and trans fats, cholesterol, and sodium. Incorporating fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can be beneficial for those with high blood pressure. To lower blood pressure, individuals should aim to consume less than 2,300 mg of sodium per day. This means avoiding processed foods, canned soups, and packaged snacks that are high in sodium. Instead, try seasoning food with herbs and spices, and using fresh ingredients in cooking. Potassium-rich foods such as bananas, avocados, spinach, and sweet potatoes can also help to lower blood pressure. Calcium and magnesium-rich foods are also recommended. Some examples include yogurt, milk, nuts, and seeds. It is important to limit the consumption of alcohol and caffeine as well. Excessive alcohol and caffeine can raise blood pressure levels and can interfere with the effectiveness of blood pressure medications. A balanced diet, coupled with regular exercise and medication adherence, can greatly aid in maintaining healthy blood pressure levels. 
6. Exercise and high blood pressure. Exercise has been shown to be an effective way to manage high blood pressure. When you exercise, your heart rate increases, and your blood vessels dilate, which allows blood to flow more easily through your body. This can help to lower your blood pressure over time. There are many different types of exercise that can be beneficial for managing high blood pressure. Aerobic exercise, such as brisk walking, jogging, swimming, or cycling, can help to improve your heart health and reduce your blood pressure. Strength training exercises, such as weightlifting or resistance band exercises, can also be helpful for managing high blood pressure. It's important to start slowly and gradually increase the intensity of your exercise over time. If you're new to exercise, start with light activities such as walking, stretching, or yoga. As your fitness level improves, you can gradually increase the duration and intensity of your workouts. Aim to exercise for at least 30 minutes a day, 5 days a week. You can break up your exercise into shorter sessions throughout the day if necessary. It's important to choose activities that you enjoy so that you're more likely to stick with them over the long term. Always consult with your doctor before starting a new exercise program, especially if you have high blood pressure or other medical conditions. They can help you to determine the best types of exercise for your needs and make sure that you're engaging in safe and effective activities. 7. Managing stress and high blood pressure. Managing stress is a crucial step in managing high blood pressure. Stress can cause spikes in blood pressure, which can be detrimental to your overall health. Managing stress can be done in many different ways, and everyone is different. Some people find relaxation techniques such as meditation, deep breathing, or yoga to be helpful. Others find that exercise or spending time outdoors can help to reduce stress levels. It's also important to identify the sources of your stress and try to eliminate or reduce them as much as possible. This may involve setting boundaries at work or in personal relationships, learning to say no, or adjusting your lifestyle in other ways. In addition to managing stress, it's important to make other lifestyle changes that can help to lower your blood pressure. This includes eating a healthy diet that's low in sodium, getting regular exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, and limiting alcohol intake. If you're struggling to manage your high blood pressure, it's important to talk to your doctor. They can help you to develop a customized treatment plan that's tailored to your individual needs. With the right lifestyle changes and medical treatment, it's possible to effectively manage high blood pressure and reduce your risk of complications. 8. Medications for high blood pressure. If lifestyle changes alone aren't enough to control your high blood pressure, your doctor may prescribe medication as part of your treatment plan. There are many different types of medications available to treat high blood pressure, and your doctor will work with you to find the best option for your specific needs. Some medications work by relaxing the blood vessels, making it easier for blood to flow through them. Others help to decrease the amount of fluid in the blood, which can help to lower blood pressure. Your doctor may also prescribe medication to help manage any underlying conditions that may be contributing to your high blood pressure, such as diabetes or kidney disease. It's important to take your medication as prescribed and to keep your doctor informed of any side effects you may be experiencing. It may take some time to find the right combination of medications to effectively manage your high blood pressure, so be patient and work closely with your doctor to find the best treatment plan for you. In addition to medication, it's important to continue making lifestyle changes to manage your high blood pressure. Eating a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, managing stress, and quitting smoking can all help to lower your blood pressure and improve your overall health. 9. Monitoring high blood pressure. Monitoring your high blood pressure is a crucial step in managing it effectively. Regular monitoring can help you track your progress, adjust your lifestyle and medication accordingly, and identify any potential complications early on. There are various ways to monitor your blood pressure, and your doctor can help you determine which method is best for you. One of the most common ways is to use a blood pressure monitor at home. You can purchase a reliable and accurate blood pressure monitor from a pharmacy or online. It's important to take your blood pressure readings at the same time each day, preferably in the morning before you take any medication or have breakfast. Record your readings in a logbook or an app that your doctor recommends, so you can easily share it with your healthcare provider during your appointments. 
If your blood pressure is consistently above the normal range, your doctor may recommend more frequent monitoring and additional tests to identify any underlying health conditions that are contributing to your high blood pressure. Remember, monitoring your high blood pressure is just one part of managing it effectively. It's equally important to follow a healthy lifestyle, take your medication as prescribed, and attend regular checkups with your healthcare provider. 10. Conclusion and the importance of managing high blood pressure. In conclusion, managing high blood pressure is crucial to maintaining good health and preventing serious health conditions such as heart disease and stroke. The good news is that there are many simple tips that you can follow to effectively manage high blood pressure. These tips include maintaining a healthy diet, exercising regularly, reducing salt intake, quitting smoking, limiting alcohol consumption, managing stress, taking medications as prescribed, and regularly monitoring your blood pressure. It's important to remember that managing high blood pressure is a long-term commitment and requires consistent effort. However, the benefits of successfully managing high blood pressure are immense and can lead to a healthier, happier life. So, if you have been diagnosed with high blood pressure, don't wait any longer to take action. Start implementing these simple tips today and work with your healthcare provider to develop a personalized plan for managing your high blood pressure. Your future self will thank you. We hope you found our video on managing high blood pressure helpful. High blood pressure is a common condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It is important to take steps to manage it to prevent complications like heart attack, stroke, and kidney disease. By following these simple tips, you can make positive changes to your lifestyle that will have a big impact on your health. Remember to consult with your healthcare provider before making any significant changes to your diet, exercise routine, or medication. Let's take care of our health together. Please like the video and subscribe the channel.